hi friends welcome to the video lecture series on a machine learning so in a last lecture we have defined about the problem of k nearest neighbor so in this tutorial we are going to see about how to implement the very new implementation of this k nearest neighbor algorithm inside the python so for that we are going to use about the random data so for the random data i have already done some necessary imports and uh, we are going to use about uh, three different python library like uh, pandas uh, this is one of the very famous uh, data science and data analysis related library uh, numpy for the numerical uh, computation in a uh, python and uh, plot visualization we are going to use this matplotlib library as a plt and this is for inline display of matplotlib so it will display all graph inside this jupyter notebook only and i have already created a simple data set so let's try to put this data set inside the data frame object of the pandas so that we can is actually visualize the individual data even the class of that data then we'll go for the actual distance computation and the nearest neighbor computation so let's uh, define data frame objects so in data frame we'll apply this data which has been created with the help of this array function of numpy and we are addressing this with the help of this np only and we'll assign it to df reference now it this data each having the very default column name has been given so let's put this uh, column name then i'll explain you what that column means in our case so i'll put x y and category and let's just display it okay so this is our actual uh, data part okay this is a typo here okay got okay so you can see that there are total six instances are available each instance has been uh, addressed with zero to six numbers six is as excluded and each point has a one x coordinate and a y coordinate and each point belongs to some category so in this case we i have defined there are two categories there is a c1 category and a c2 category so there are two possible classes are there in output so cat is nothing but a category which is lying into t two different class c1 and a c2 and individual data points are the two dimensional uh, data space so this is a tabular way of visualization our data there are total six records each record has a two two dimension and individual record belongs to one category either in a c1 or a c2 now let's try to visualize with the help of python uh, matplotlib plotting functionality so we you can actually visualize this uh, data uh, and we'll put this query point also query point is nothing but our test data set so uh, in case of our k nearest neighbor our task is to find which are the points out of this six points are nearest to this query point so let's try to plot all this point inside the multi-dimensional or even two-dimensional space so we are going to use this plt i i'll uh, so for each and every point i'll just loop through so i uh, will use this uh, plt functionality and uh, will use the scatter plot of this plt functionality so for one category i am going to display with one color and another category i am going to display with another color so uh, let's just uh, so what it will do it will try to find first of all the category if the category is c1 you plot it this way
plt dot scatter and we will supply x and y coordinate will supply size is equal to 150 and let's say color is equal to red else same thing will display but color let's change it to some blue okay so this is the all data point we have iterate through the full uh, individual rows of this data frame object and we have supplied to the scatter plot if you don't understand any scatter plot i have already uh, created one lecture on a matplotlib library uh, having a scatter plot functionality explained in it so this is all about the individual record now uh, let's display this query point also so we'll supply query query 0 and query 1 we'll make little bigger query point so you can visualize and let's change color to the yellow so you need to supply just white okay so this is how uh, we have iterated now let's just put it in grid so you'll come to know about actual the data point in a two dimensional space okay let's run it okay so it has visualized this uh, seven point for us six points is one is the red class category so this line will part or red class category which is having a category c1 so these three points in a class c1 these three points in a class c2 and this red part which we have displayed here in a query point which is nothing but query uh, test data set so if you see this x and y coordinate of this c1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 so this c1 part it has displayed here minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 and minus 3 minus 2 and our task is <coughs> is to find the nearest neighbor with respect to this yellow point yellow point is nothing but our uh, test data set point so this is how we have defined the problem now uh, let's try to find the distance of this individual uh, data instance of in a training data set this is nothing but our training data set with respect to all our query point and we are going to use simple Euclidean uh, distance so we are going to use the square root and uh, square functionality so let's just import this mat function and we'll define the distance is one array empty array now let's just loop through each and every po point in a test data set and let's compute the distance between query point and each and every da test data set so uh, whatever the distance we'll calculate will append inside this this function and then we'll put the sorting on the top of it so we'll come to know about that what are the nearest point with respect to this query point yellow point query point is yellow one okay so this dot append now our task is to find the square root so we'll use this mat dot square root and the first point is x point minus query 0 square so x point is like a this is for the squaring of the difference between query point and individual data point x coordinate so 
so now all data is in a object format so in our case we need to supply this float on the top of it so it will convert everything inside the float we'll iterate to individual rows and for individual rows we'll just extract this x element input query 0 ok mm, this is all looks like a correct so this part is finishing here same way we'll apply on a query one point which is nothing but the y coordinate of this data set with y okay so it will append all distance okay there is some bracket mismatch i hope okay there is no issue here Okay, here also we need to supply one more bracket I think let's just run it okay some syntax error for calculating this distance so this part is about to finish here so this is over this will finish here ok some issue with the brackets here so des dot append dot match square hopefully should work no actually mat float okay this is the culprit I think okay we have uh, got it there is some bracket mismatching was there now uh, whatever this distance has been calculated with respect to all those point in a training data set let's assign it to the one column of this DF so we'll create on one more column of this data frame object and we'll paste those distance and let's just print it okay so it has calculated all those distance so with respect to this query point yellow you can see that all this c1 distance are much more near one is 0 0.7 another one is also 0 0.7 so these two points are very much near so that's why i think it is 0 0.7 because minus 2 minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 is this point and minus 3 minus 2 so this is this point 
okay these two points are 0 0.7 and other one is the 1.538 remaining all points which are the blue point is which is lying in the class c2 so it lies inside the uh, very far away from this yellow test data set point so which is having all bigger distance now let's just uh, sort this value so in a d data frame we have a one sort value function and we'll apply on the top of this this column okay so it has sorted for us so with respect to query point we have got uh, these two points looks like a very near so whatever the number of point we want to take like a one nearest neighbor or two nearest neighbor or a k nearest neighbor or three dear nearest neighbor we can take all those point from this top rows basically so we have uh, almost got this first and second one looks like a very nearest point with respect to the test data set so that's it for this lecture friends I hope you enjoy listening this video. In the next lecture, we are going to see the same implementation with the help of scikit-learn library when we'll compare those uh, results. Then we'll go for even more optimized algorithm because in this case, uh, this algorithm is very naive approach and this comp computational complexity is very high while iterating for individual each instances of in a training data set. Thank you guys for the watching. I hope you enjoy listening with this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe it.